So talk about shocks of the Dota world. Talk about surprises. The International 2018 has a surprise just for you. In fact, recently in the Chinese Open Qualifiers, a surprise team comes out of nowhere. Yes, we have other veteran teams participating like IG, Invictus Gaming, we have LGD Forever Young, and we have For The Dream. We also had CDEC along with other renowned teams. Even Ehome was participating. But one team continues to shock everyone. Not only did Team Serenity defeat everyone in the open qualifiers, then they were able to go on to the main stage. As a matter of fact, Team Serenity is so unknown, so mysterious, that even Liquipedia did not have any information about them a week prior to this video. It's crazy, right? So why do we care? Why am I making a great big deal about it? You see, this is an example of what future teams should do and perhaps learn from. You see, it's nice to always root on your, your favorite players, your favorite teams. It's because we get accustomed to it. It's part of our DNA. You like hanging out with the people you're used to, right? Well, sometimes a new change is also quite interesting, right? Like imagine yourself going to another place, another country. You look at the scenery and you feel flabbergasted. You are in awe because it feels good, it sounds good, it's different. Well, Team Serenity is making the difference a reality. They are taking down veterans. In fact, they already have. At the playoffs, at the main stages, they defeated For The Dream 2-0. And then they defeated Invictus Gaming in the winner's finals 2-1. This means as of today, as of June 20, Team Serenity is qualified. Now, you may ask, who is Team Serenity? Who are these players? Well, they are all relatively new players. I'll briefly say their names, but I'm not really good at saying Chinese names with proper pronunciation, but I'll read it as best as I can. Their position 1 is Zi 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 or Jin Zi Yi. Position 2, Zhang Kwanda or ZYD. Position 3, Zin Q or Zhao Zi Jing. Position 4 or 5 is PYW, Zhao Jihan. And the last position, XCG or Zhao Xiao Jian. Now this is the new squad. The beautiful thing about them is that they are playing a different style of Dota. And this is what brings the Dota community together. We all start to see a new team. It's like comparing it to basketball. In the playoffs of 2018, 2017 to 2018, we were able to see a new team formed within the 76ers logo. Yes, with Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. They were able to make a beautiful run in the playoffs. But likewise, this team, Serenity, they're a bunch of young studs. They're new stars and they're making impact in the Dota world. It's very surprising because every year something happens like this, but we don't really pay a lot of attention to it. And I think it's about time we should because, you know, you, you just might see another team in the rise. Somehow it may change a whole community or a matter of fact, it may even change a whole nation on the long run. One player's impact has power. It can create a domino effect. This is what I'm trying to give you. So let me briefly explain to you what they do a little bit more. Serenity is a team of full of unknown players. They have shocked the Chinese community by entering TI. That is what we have discussed thus far. Right now I'm going to give you a little bit more summary of what the team is and some of the players. Serenity was formed right before the DAC qualifiers and they were able to claim one spot from the open brackets. However, in the closed qualifiers, they finished fourth in the group, which is last, which is the last time we even heard of them. We didn't even see them. But then, all of a sudden, they reappeared. Like any team that has a, a equal chance to participate at the open qualifiers, they decided to join in. But what we don't know is this. Team Serenity was practicing like crazy. They were in the shadows, in the dark. When no one was looking, when the lights weren't on, they were practicing. They were creating new strategies, new tactics for the players to bond together, to become one, have chemistry, and to somehow make an upset. Yes, they were practicing to become the best they could become to join TIA. And that is what they have done. So their main carry is ZZZZ or Z. 
Some people may know him because he used to play for Keen Gaming last year, and they reached top 6 at ESL1 Hamburg. However, after that he was dropped from the roster, so we haven't really seen him. But, hear this out, ZZZZ was one of the first players to reach 9k MMR, but the community calls him or labels him as the weakest 9k player. This is very funny. From being labeled as one of the worst chums of the leaderboard in Dota, now he has solidified his standing. He's not just a 9k MMR player for no reason. He has proved that hey, he is a big boy, he's among the big stars of the Dota world, and he can shine when the lights are bright. So, he has led Team Serenity to defeat everyone at the Open Followers and reach TIA. Then there's Zhao Zinq, Ziqing. He is regarded as one of the most talented youngsters, but also simultaneously he's famous for his laziness and some even say that he's even, well, satisfied playing for small money. His playstyle is quite flashy and one can argue that he is one of the best on the battlefields when it comes to skills. However, despite what the community thinks about Serenity players, the truth is, is that this team already is reaching its peak. It's coming into TI looking like a dominant team. They have defeated Invictus Gaming, IG Vitality, CDEC, LF Brown, and now they have a one-way ticket to Vancouver, Canada. Yup. They are invited directly to TI-8. Although the veterans were not able to outclass these new young studs, who knows what the future holds. Perhaps IG will also make it to TI-8. Anyways, with that being said, this is Crystal's Dota out. I hope you guys were able to get a taste of Chinese open qualifiers. Will evil geniuses be able to go through the NA qualifying scene? And many of you guys are EG fans, I'm gonna let you know. Evil Geniuses have a very high chance of making it to TI-8. This is because, unlike other regions, the North American region allows three teams to be invited to TI-8, as opposed to two in every other region. So, I don't know why this is the case, but perhaps this is a green light for the boys in blue to make their entrance into TI-8. With that being said, this is Crystal's Dota out. The team Good stuff. that built Blink Dagger Dagon on the Queen of Pain is going to I mean, TI. They, they lose that game, but it's happening. You can lose a game like that and bounce back, take game two and game three. They were down against an experienced veteran IG yes. team. This is a team where players who won like DAC championships, like Aggressive, Baboka, XXS, these guys were on that team, as was Q. But the youngsters, they've done it. It's been a long Oof. time coming. Very, very, very impressive stuff. By the way guys, you can win a TI-8 International 2018 Compendium. All you have to do is share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, Crystal's Dota. I really want to support the TI industry, the Dota world, it means so much. So, I hope you guys can win. Subscribe, share, and comment.